Is this thing on? Is this thing on? This ain't no gin, baby. This Earl Stevens. Let me see if they playing with my name and likeness. Or is my shit the way it's supposed to be? Let me edit the privacy so it's public. They playing with my name and likeness. Trying to. Let me put the link in the comments in case somebody you want to be stupid today. Because I came. Y'all, y'all crazy. Like guest. Stream now. Copy. Now. Right to the boot. Right to the line. I know I didn't do it. I got time anyway today. So I don't care. Now, today I am here to speak for all men on a real important topic. Nowadays, men want to be chased like women. I call cap on behalf of every single man on planet Earth. And I'm about to prove my point with her and you and everyone else. First of all, you ladies have a lot of nerve because you, a lot of you, a lot of you, not all of you, not all of you. I, I ain't going to make every one of y'all hold this L, but it's enough for you to hold this L. We'll say, I'm not going to approach a guy first. I'm not going to you know, ask a guy for his number. I'm not going to make the first move. A lot of you say that. So your idea of being chased is something that's unrealistic anyway because you don't do anything. So your idea of chasing is anything, making any effort, making any step. If you won't even inbox someone or Ask someone for their number. What is chasing you? What is chase? What is you chasing someone even mean to you? Showing some interest, doing something. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like what are you talking about? And like the reality is, you know, let's get into this video so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Look at look at my homegirl Mel. Shout out to Mel. What's up, lovers? What up, Mel? How are you doing today? We good. I'm doing great. I'm a little hyper, as usual, but I don't know if you guys care to know how I was doing, but yeah. Okay. So today, I am making a video of what to do when a girl looks at you, because you know... What am I supposed to do when a girl looks at I'm me, Mel? I'm outside, I'm at the bar, and I look at a guy to kind of like try to signal him, hey, come over here. And he doesn't get it. See? And maybe he doesn't get it because he's not single and he doesn't See, get it. no, 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 no. And he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it off a look. See, this is what women think. This is the fantasy land y'all live in. And look at Mel. Look at Mel. <laughs> so, of course, she gets attention from men all the time. Probably women, too. So, she doesn't have any game. A lot of y'all don't. You know, have to have it. You think lying and making up stuff is game. It's not. So, she says, oh, I give a guy a look and he doesn't know to get it. No, he doesn't. No, he's not supposed to. See, y'all be wanting Martin Luther 
Tupac with a degree and a gun. It's like got conflict resolution management, but can fight. Like y'all want the perfect guy that knows everything at all times. No, he doesn't know off a look. Especially when social media and feminists and all this other stuff has created a defense for women to where men don't even be feeling like you even want to be talked to. You might he he might be looking like you're looking at him like why are you looking at me? He doesn't know. You think every guy's got this super duper swag? They don't. Not all of them. No, they don't. And then some of the ones that do still won't get it off your simple little look. Hey, he doesn't find me attractive. Whatever the case. He is. doesn't find <laughs> you attractive. <laughs> he doesn't find you attractive. You, that's, that's hilarious. What made me think of this video? And I think sometimes you guys, women, look, look at you, and you don't know what to do. You don't realize, like, yo, it's how i get in and it's how i'm gonna jump in the pussy quick That's you guys funny. be missing out on those points sometimes so today i'm telling you what to do when see fantasy land once again we don't miss out on anything y'all do y'all live in an entitled world of the world of revolving around you but listen this is what you fail to realize the dating market is easy for both sides. It's become men for it's become easy for men too. It's just that a lot of people don't understand. See what, what has happened is, what has happened is, y'all have a let social media, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you who did it. The real women let the sack chasers turn being single into prostitution. Tell y'all when it happened. The moment y'all started sharing the whole, oh, I paid this much in bills. I don't have time for what you're doing, text. Men don't take that type of stuff serious. That's why now y'all are still saying, oh, why do men text what you're doing all day? I thought we couldn't do that because you pay bills. We didn't take that serious. We never did. But what happened was that is a time for money exchange. That is, that is, that is, that's a time for money exchange. So what are you really saying? But see, the people who have a problem in the dating market is the ones who don't know how to market themselves in whatever way. Some people really just flat out sell it. And other people sell themselves in other ways, men and women. So the people who don't know how to market themselves in whatever way fail in the dating market. It's become easy for everyone. So it's not like it's hard for men and easy for no 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 no. It's the same, but you guys are entitled more than us, whether you realize it or not. Like even like body positivity that doesn't apply to men. That's not true for men. Even listen, Lizzo is the queen of body positivity, and she says she wouldn't date a big dude. Why? For the same reason that men say it. You understand what I'm saying? But you guys get to believe that everybody's a 10 and everybody's fine. When No, no, no. Men don't get to live that reality. A man will, will, will tell you your reality if someone else won't. And women will tell you your reality. You don't see someone like her or see supermodels or these IG models with fat dudes. No, 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 you don't ever, never. Just like you don't see NBA players and athletes with fat women. It just doesn't happen. But see, for women, y'all get to live the everybody's a 10 fantasy that men do not get to live. So the idea of men had you, you men chasing you, like you live in a fantasy. Like you guys' dating market is a fantasy. So you should just celebrate in it. Don't ever make a complaint about men, you chasing men. Shut up. Be quiet. Especially when a lot of you want a provider. Like you, some like we we are required to spend. So like, you want this guy to make one hundred percent of the effort just to get you, and then have to cash out. Like, are you gonna do anything for the ability to have somebody cashing out on you, or is just you just gonna sell your look? Okay, whatever. When Let's listen to Mel some more. At you. When she look Number at me, one. what? Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Who are you, you talking know you're to? The shit. See. Yes, she's looking at you. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. She talking to some. She talking to some. I don't know who she talking to. Don't freak out. At you. You Girl, do you. She's looking at you. So hell yeah, like, she's looking at. 
Well, she's looking at yes, me. she's looking at you. Yes, Stay I know. In the eyes. Her eyes are pretty. So, do not freak out. We're not doing that. We're not freaking out. Sorry. Oh, we freaking out. Hey, you got COVID? Oh, we're going to freak out now. You sick? Number two. What are we doing? Take five seconds. No. Five seconds to yourself. Pretty mm -mm. much so. You saw her looking at you. Look away for five seconds. Mm -mm. Compose yourself and be like, okay, what am I going to do? See, she's talking uh, to a nervous yeah. dude. And then in that five seconds, you look back. You look. Let me tell y'all why that's bad advice. Because y'all know this very well. I ain't going to spend too much time on this. Men are liars. They are. I'll admit it. So in that five seconds, he's going to recreate a lie. He's going to create a persona. Never mind. Look back. <coughs> y'all pay attention she's anyway. still there. She's still there looking at you. Because yeah, she's, she's still like, there. yo, he needs to fucking stare at me dead in the eyes. Because you know, guys, eye contact is the most important thing when it comes to like approaching somebody or even initiating contact or talking eye contact you know i love that shit i love staring in a man's eye and if the man can just stare back why wouldn't he it's over i show him like half of the titty i don't she nasty <laughs> election alert election day is november 8th who you vote for? See, y'all gotta know how to it sell yourself. See what I'm saying? She got the titties After using. This election, but listen, I ain't gotta say that. Women with titties always got them out. Be able to look up how y'all know. Vote. So vote by Tuesday. Women with titties know how to sell them. My whole music What's up with this? really started with SoundCloud. I love the freedom, the ability to hey, that take like your a, life into your hands. Even I look like a, uh, never mind. So what's gonna happen in that five seconds that you are taking for yourself? Like, we're well, gonna make up a lie. I already told him what's gonna, gonna happen in the five seconds. Doubt. She's gonna be like, "Wait, I just looked at him, and he looked away. Like, he's gonna be like, oh my See, God, that's because y'all crazy. See, this this is where y'all make up shit in y'all head. Know. Within five seconds, y'all are already making up shit in y'all head. Y'all are weird. Y'all are weird. Y'all are that. It's something wrong with y'all. That's what I'm saying. This is the fact. Within the five seconds that she's talking about right now, this is when y'all go into what I just described as the fantasy land of y'all's dating market. Where you think someone says that you want, you, you, I can't even say it because it's a lie. Men don't want you to chase them. We don't want to be chased like y'all. They expect you to handle it all day long, but the women is like, I don't know, I can't do that. Like, mm, you know. But yeah, so you're going to create that doubt in her mind that maybe you don't like her. Maybe you're not interested. Maybe you're not single. That's because y'all crazy. Y'all are but weird. When you turn back, you look at her and you give her a little smirk. I can't do the smirk, but you're like a little. Oh quick. hell no! If you and do that, one, you are. Right, <laughs> right, men, you men already know don't do that smirk. Do not yeah, do that weird stare smirk. Right at her. Don't lose eye contact. And don't like, do that. Please don't do that. A little smirk or a little smile, but not like a full smile, like ah, you know, a little. Yeah, one. Not, yeah, the little one, like but not like she her. did. I saw what she she right about the little smirk, but not that big and one, and not what she did. I'm open. Come talk to me. That's too. a fact. Not bitch. Come talk to me, young lady. Who knows? Maybe you turn back. You thought she was looking at you, but she wasn't, and now it was uh, accidental. You know. You keep it moving. You know. Well, she wasn't looking. Keep eating. Keep drinking. Keep doing whatever you want. You got curved. Then, when you did the smile, you put your fucking phone away in your pocket. Because, you know, I know we tend to look on the phone and be like, we're busy. Now, this might doing. actually be an important are, tip. Because uh, motherfuckers be on their phone like, a lot. Okay, I do that like, you never know when you might turn a person off just when you're on your phone. But then like, the message that's like a thing that, that open for I never know when it'll talk happen talk to me. So like, yo, get out they're not going to come and talk because they don't want to bother you in whatever you're doing. So I'm telling you, put the phone in your pocket. This might be good advice. That might be good advice. Just chill. The next thing you do... You That's good advice. A little bit. So you know how women women do it all the time. Like, you know, when they feel like somebody is watching them, they're like, mm, they're touching themselves, they're adjusting their hair, you know, um, some they're doing something. So what you need yeah, to do, the, the male version of that is putting your sleeves up a little bit and you show a little bit of that uh, fucking forearm that hopefully, I mean, for me, if you have veins, on your forearms, I, I don't know what it is it's with nasty. some veins, but is. I don't know if it makes me feel like you're strong and you're like the incredible Hulk, you know, with all them veins. 
I don't know. I have something for veins, but I think women have something for veins and forearms that like look strong. And then hopefully you got a nice little watch. That's a that, scientific so fact. Like just actually. like you're putting them up. I mean, you're like it. arms and chest. But I'm telling you, having a little else, watch like shows that you have a sense of style, which is very important for women, and that you're like probably reliable. Which, but to make a long I, story short, y'all live in a fantasy land of dating market, which. You think that the world revolves around you and it doesn't. And you get to just live free and clear of accountability and responsibility and everything. So really, when it boils down to it, um, y'all are and then hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about this chase. Let's 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 um Switch topics, but stay on topic and get real serious with this. Let's talk about the male chase. See, a lot of y'all don't understand. Um, getting curved. I won't even say getting curved, getting ghosted. See, this is what happens. A lot of times see a lot of women right will curve 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 you know uh 50 guys 100 guys your inbox is full of hey baby hey baby hey beautiful hey beautiful hey beautiful but then the person that you pick you pick them based off qualities that everyone else likes too so this is what you don't understand. Like you may not have sex in eight months or whatever the hell. But when you meet this guy, you're going to present yourself just like everyone else does. So for him, even though you're guarded in your life, it's still easy access. Excuse me. So you're going to meet this guy and present yourself just like everyone else does. You're going to laugh at his jokes. You're going to touch his forearms like in her video. And this guy is going to take advantage of that because he does that to everyone. And then now you want the the thousand hey babies in your inbox to hold men accountable for how they treat women and all this stuff when you pick this guy for the same reason that you got curved you know what i'm saying like it it, it boils down to that and a lot of people don't want to hear that like and it's the facts so once again you guys' dating market is different than ours. So nobody's expecting you to chase them because our, when it boils down to it, we're required to provide. So like it, getting with you has become less of something to men. Because of social media, social media, it's not too for everybody. Let me, let me take that back. It's not too for everybody, but the people who be on social media too much and believe all of the stupid stuff, like they've turned, listen, I'm trying to tell y'all, they've turned being a woman, like a woman that wants a man into a bad thing. Like anything that women do for their men or anything that women understand about men you're a pick me which is a weird term when a lot of people should be wanting to be married like you should want to be picked 
You know what I mean? But, you know, whatever. But it's like anything that I'm talking about those people that anything that a man does is, is bad. That doesn't involve them. That's how social media has made men like anything that a man does outside of a woman has been demonized. Hanging out with your friends. Uh, <laughs> hanging, hanging out with your friends has been demonized. It's emotionally attached and sounding gay and all that stuff. Uh, if you play a game, even working out, like anything outside of you has been demonized. But there's definitely like, so you guys is I did. So like Twitter, not Twitter, but um, TikTok really pushes for y'all to do the super duper minimal, like basically nothing. Like they talk about like, Cooking, why would you cook? Why would you do wifely stuff for a boyfriend? Like, you don't even know what that means, a lot of people. That's just dumb for, for people. You know what I'm saying? It's just don't do nothing. But he do everything. You know what I'm saying? And like, and that's like, and been listening to it, like, yo, what? No. But, I mean, I like I said, I know, I know that social media is not really real. But it's a lot of people on it. So they follow a lot of the stupid guidelines. But men don't want to be chased. They just don't want to be bothered. And it's too much stupidity online. So y'all got mad and get mad at the people who highlight it. But you should be paying attention to what they're highlighting and understand. Like, yo, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of delusional people out here and I'm sharing some of their memes and liking their posts. And yeah, OK, I see what men are talking about. Y'all don't ever want to have that moment where it's like, OK, I see what men are talking about. When you should have that moment where you see what men are talking about, like. Like, yeah. So. It's like. I don't understand, like what y'all really consider a chase because modern modern america is telling y'all to do nothing so what you consider in a chase is doing something anything for a man makes you a pick me anything with a man agreeing with a man on anything doing anything for a man makes you a pick me anything like yeah i'll cook for my man. Oh, yeah, you'll pick me. You know what I'm saying? And then I hate social media. I swear to God. Like, they take little words like submission. Why do y'all treat that like you walking around with your head down and can't talk and don't have to ask to use the bathroom and all that stuff? Why do y'all act like that? Why do y'all act like that's what, 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 what a submission is? Just to argue. Like, it makes no sense to me. I'll be like, yo, why do people play stupid? Like, they've never submitted before. People talk about money and all. Like, I, oh, the money conversation, boy. It never ends. I posted a, I posted a thing the other day. This girl, she started, to, she was talking about takeoff. And got to talking about how black men are the combo for the kids and bills. Like, yo, damn, uh, can we stick with the black men killing each other? Okay, okay, you, you, you preaching that sermon, bills and kids. Like, this is not what we even on. But it's like, it's social media. It it pushes the beef between men and women. So this is where the illusion that men want to be chased comes from, because first of all. They don't want to be bothered. And second of all, social media is telling y'all to do nothing. Anything you do is a pick me. So everything is a chase. Especially to the generation of people who will say. I'm not making the first move. If you're not making the first move, anything is a chase to you. So. I call cap on behalf of the male 
gender. Cis, cis males. I call cap. Men do not want to be chased. They just don't want to be bothered. And they don't want you listening to nobody on TikTok with a bonnet on and a rant about men. That's the two things that don't go together. A bonnet and TikTok. If it's those two, do not listen to her. She's wrong. And all of those things are telling you don't do anything for a man. Nothing. Anything. Nothing for a man. If you're all, it's pick me. Anything is pick me. If you, if you even like men, if you want a man, you'll pick me. Just think about that. If you want a husband, boyfriend, man, you'll pick me. <laughs> like, what is the hell wrong with people, yo? And this is who your, your peers are. So everything is a chase. And I'm trying to tell you who this these ideologies are coming from. And it's the same concept that we started with. This is why I keep repeating the same thing. Y'all let sack real women let the sack chasers turn being single into prostitution. Now we're turning courting into men wanting to be chased. That's because anything you do for a man makes you a pick me now. And that obviously is a bad thing. Getting a man's bad. Over there on that side. Getting a man is bad. It's got to be. If pick me is a term. If you actually get picked. You pick me. You got to be one. Or you just not a pick me. But you got picked. Like that don't even make no sense. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You not a pick me. But you getting a man. Or is the pick me's the ones that's getting like. Hey pick me. And he's like. Oh okay. All right. You in a, you're in the dating. It's a dating market. So why? So how come somebody that's giving off the aura of pick me in a dating market is bad? Like, especially when there's people who sell their body. So they're not even saying pick me. Their price. They have a price. Anyone could with a with a with a price could pick them. So. This is the world we live in that is cap. If you're trying to tell me that men are trying to be chased, they're trying to be left alone by bozos. And y'all won't separate the two because of social media. You want to share somebody's meme, that's a bozo. So then they're looking at you. Like, you might be a bozo, too, even if you aren't. So if you log off and, and unplug from these apps for a while, you won't think that men are trying to be chased because you won't feed into any of this negativity. You won't see anybody on TikTok with a bonnet on in a rant. It's all a... a uh, 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 imaginary beef but I promise you men don't want to be chased they don't want they don't want women to chase them they just want to be left alone from all of the BS that's around them that y'all won't ever own up to that exist except when we keep constantly telling y'all and it's become a monetized fact of life we keep showing y'all, we keep telling y'all, and you won't acknowledge it, except y'all will acknowledge it in your own personal way. It's a lot of women who will say, I can't be friends with women because they're messy. Yeah, I know. What imagine now dating one? But y'all want to keep it real. Then what? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> for real. So, you know what I'm saying? So imagine being on social media with one. They're messy. And this is why when you talk, listen, I swear, I swear, I swear. I don't think I've ever heard an actual good reason why a woman 
doesn't want to date a guy with kids. I swear. Now, hold on. Let me stop. Let me stop you. If you don't got kids and don't want to date a guy with kids, I feel you. <laughs> okay. First of all, if you do got kids and don't want to date a guy with kids, I feel you. I know it's this it's, it's, it sounds crazy, but I actually feel you. But check this out. I've never heard a good reason. I'm tell you the reasons that I hear. I'll tell you the the second reason, and then I'm gonna give you the reason why I brung this up. The second reason is, oh, because I want to just be able to go on trips, and guys with kids can't just get up and go which is a selfish, idiotic reason. But reason number one is why I bring this up. Because women always say, I don't want to deal with no baby mama drama. Which means you don't want to hang around a lot of women because they're messy. And then when you think of a woman as a mother, you think of messy. But you won't relate to those two facts from a male perspective. Like men see the same. We see it the way you see it, but a different way. And y'all know all of that. But when men express it their way, you'll call it bashing, which is the shit that I also hate. One of my friends who I seen post to me, gonna tell me, she told me I be hating on women. Are you serious? Y'all live in a fantasy land of dating market. There is no hating on y'all. You don't even live in reality to hate a lot of time. A lot of y'all don't, I swear. Not on social media. You know what I'm saying? So, and I am an equal opportunist of people talking crazy. If you sound crazy, I'm going to tell you that that's what it is you're sounding. I don't bash women. I love women. I just, I, I know the flaws of of all genders. That's why I told you about the deadbeat or the, or the guy that curved you. We just broke him down. I broke you down. I broke him down, broke down why he curved. I know people. So, it, it, it like, this is cap. To sit up and say, somebody, y'all, we want to be chased. It's not wanting to be chased. It's wanting to be left alone from all of the BS that y'all won't acknowledge is around you and us. It's around all of us. It's not just us saying it. You see it too. What do you want to flip it on, man? What about the men bullshit? Okay, we see it. I see it. I talk about it. So that's not going to stick. We're talking about this right now. And it's cap. And it has to stop. For real. Like, don't. We see y'all. We hear y'all. It's just we know that the arguments that aren't necessary. And this is not a necessary argument to tell y'all we don't want to be chased. But I'm telling y'all on behalf of all men. It's not wanting to be chased. It's wanting to be left alone from all of the BS in the dating market that y'all see. All of the entitlement, all of the arrogance, all of the attitudes, all of the people calling men narcissists that are the narcissists. You see it all, but you hate men's response to it. But you respond to it. If you go, go, please go to a Kendra G video comment section and listen and look at women. Ignore any comment that's a man. Read the women. Women are responding to this delusion too. So when men do it, don't get mad. And stop feeling as though people want to be chased because they really just want to be left alone of the bs and anything you do makes you a pick me that's what they said you know what i'm saying anything you do makes you a pick me real talk 
Real talk. Anything you do, make sure you pick me. That's 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 how it goes for you. So, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and that's not my my uh doing. That's your homegirls told us told told us all that. You know what I'm saying? Your homegirls told us that. Look, let, let's find something about a pick me. Let's find something about a pick me. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to hear it now. Now we don't we don't went to the pick me. Let's talk. Let's find something. Let's find your homegirls. Show I'm gonna show you why it sound like men want to be chased. Let's play another video. Play another video. Hold on. Let's play another video. Let's get this back onto the stream. Let's get this back onto the stream. Let's play another video, y'all. Let's get to it. What if I told you that you can use What if I told you I was about to play another video? For example, let's you can let's, a let's play a pick me guys, I've gone clear. Mom, mom, listen, listen. <laughs> Quit your job. We ain't got to suffer no more. Yes, that's right. I made it onto a Reddit thread. Specifically, this Reddit thread. But I'll address that later. The pick me show hey guys, shame. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are good. Hope you are well. Pick me's, pick me girls, pick niches. They exist. I've seen them. I've heard them. Heck, I've been them. But the way the word is being flung out, <laughs> one must wonder have we overused, misused, and abused the term? Have we just weaponized it in a way to shut down an argument that opposes your view and defends? the people or the group you're trying to villainize men so basically my question is men is she ain't no people or group or is she just disagreeing with you so i'm going to read the definition of a pick me girl out and obviously i've gone to my source the urban dictionary so let me read this out a pick me girl is a girl who goes out of their way to impress boys and make them seem that they're not like other girls aka an n-log if you've heard that term kind of like a simp but for girls otherwise known as internalized misogyny not the easiest to explain, but when you see one, you'll know she's one for sure. Usually does this to be accepted by boys and be considered one of the good ones. If you say one of these things, congratulations, nobody likes you. <laughs> Straight from the Urban Dictionary. So we all so. come across a pick-me girl. We've all been a pick-me girl to some extent, maybe when we're younger. So we we are aware of what they are. You might call them not like other girls and logs or everybody girls, says that. The same thing. Accepted by boys and be considered Let's stop right here. A girl who goes out of her way to oppress boys. First of all, you, you, I, that whole term is for some kids. The whole way that they describe this is for some kids. Like, who is impressing boys? Like, we some grown-ass people. I'm not like other girls. This some kid shit. See what I'm saying? It's for kids. It's like some little kid shit. Look at it. Look at the definition. Look, look at it. Look, look, it's for kids. Who's trying to impress boys? Your daughter? Come on now. One of the good ones. If you say one of these things, congratulations, nobody likes you. <laughs> Straight from the Urban Dictionary. So we all come across a pick me girl. We've all been a pick me girl to some extent, maybe when we're younger. So we, we are aware maybe when we were younger, yeah, because it's for like fucking girls kids and logs or pick me girls, kind of the same thing. Pick meism, pick me girls. From now on, when I hear somebody say pick me, I'm gonna think they're a kid. This idea is that, like, that's childish. I'm not like those girls because they will always say, I ain't like these other bitches having these sorts of feminine traits. I'll always say that is a bad thing, but I'd go as far as to saying, like, in a cool kind of viewpoint, what links pick me's to the pick me accusers is this desire to be accepted and validated by the group that you are trying to impress so the pick me's are trying to impress the men 
and the pick me accusers i would argue are trying to get validation from that group of women know what they might be like people that women. women or people that why is she not whatever. saying it why is she not saying it <laughs> the pick me quote unquote are trying to impress men and the pick me accusers are trying to impress i don't know women it's not even impressing women y'all are just it's it's relating to negativity it's that's not even impressing it's just some weird shit. stuff so there's a link so if you accuse me of being a pick me i would take your pick me accusation i would uno flip it and reverse it and mm -hmm. i would say mm -hmm. you're the pick me <laughs> because you as much as you're accusing me of wanting to be accepted by men, you also want to be accepted by the group that you've created. Women. Go in and call me a picture. Say it. So Why won't she say women? Why won't you say women? Say women. Women. She's talking about y'all. You. Women. Women. She won't say it. I'll say it for her. Women, 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 women. She's talking about women. The group. No, it's not a group. It's a group of women. I'm gonna take that <laughs> if we're gonna dig a little bit deeper by calling oh she's gonna write it in the text and her traits your what she say something about girl whatever she said in there that she was talking about her she wrote it in the text real quick what she say as much as you're accusing me of wanting to be accepted by men you also want to be accepted by the group that you've created women to then go in and call me a pick me so hmm, take that <laughs> Oh, you tell them, girl. If we're going to dig a little bit deeper by calling you'd out only say that to women about women. You're essentially saying that you're the not editor like was her. a girl. See where I'm going. You're not like other girls, which in turn makes you an end log slash a pick me. So who is the pick me now? Hmm? Which brings me to a key point, right? Which is that we. Ooh, but it's the whole thank you so i was about to say that election season is here that's what i was about Remember, to say like yo what you want to get picked secret, and if you don't then why are you even in the conversation after this election if you don't want to get picked you're just in the way just talking for no reason you vote. to so the people who want to get picked about the people or you want to pick someone shut up protect your business with next insurance if you don't want nobody you are in the way seasonality so you can pick me choose me love me we're all pick me to an extent not necessarily in a romantic like looking for a romantic partner type of situation but we are all pick me to some degree in some relationship yeah especially if it means lawyers, you're different romantic parents everybody think they different exhibit pick me tendencies i said this and i said it so many times in so many of my videos that one of the most natural and i think i think strongest human desires is that desire to be loved, that desire to be accepted, that desire to like assimilate and have that community. That is like a natural thing as humans. We are not supposed to be alone. So we do things all the time to achieve this. Sometimes it's unhealthy, which I think is where the pick me trope kind of comes from. But sometimes it's just wanting to be loved and assimilate and it's two different things. But I feel it. Please someone else so that they in turn like us or like us more or or think of us more highly. Example being moving your schedule around to accommodate someone else's schedule. Bringing up a topic that you already somehow know that person is interested in so that the conversation flows better and they leave with a good impression of you. Asking See what I mean? Like, damn, like, damn, can, can we have chemistry? She like, she's describing chemistry. Look, see, in the, look, in my video title, she's the describing chemistry. Like, God, hey, can we have chemistry? No. You'll pick me if you do. Um, so check it out. I'll leave it in the description below. So yeah, I'm sorry, but we all exhibit pick me behavior. But interestingly, it's only called out in women when it is seen to be for the sole goal of attracting a man or pleasing a man. Which brings me nice. Oh, look at me with the segue. It brings me nicely into like a key issue that I think sort of um, sits under this or underpins this, which is why women are labeled pick me's to the degree that they are today not in general because i know pick me is is a problem it's because of a lot of single people so they'd be mad at the people who nowadays are mislabeled as simps and that is the gender war it's like a it's a guys there is it's a, a civil war, war right now like it is getting ridiculous um let me know if you want me to actually do a whole video on that because it's in the draft everything's in the draft there's a lot of problems with this this this, this battle that we're having men and women whoa For example, when it pertains to she this, really just said that she really just said that. I be, I talk about this all the time. Did she really just say a gender war? She really just said it's a gender war. Duh. Oh, man. 
which brings me nice oh, look at me with segues it brings me nicely into like a key issue that i think sort of um sits under this or underpins this which is why women are labeled pick me's to the degree that they are today not in general because i know pick me-ism is a problem but to the degree that they are today Did she just say that? and i'd even say oppositely why a lot of men nowadays are mislabeled as simps and that is the gender wars yeah yeah guys there is it's a, a fake war, war it's a right fake now. beef like, it is getting ridiculous it's not a real beef. You want me to actually do a whole video on that because it's in the draft. Everything's in the draft. There's a lot of problems with this this this, this battle that we're having, men and women. For example, when it pertains to this pick me as in calling people misusing the label pick me, it's like me, a woman, being nice or sticking up for other women. It's like yeah, it's empowerment. Oh my gosh, sisterhood. Doing the same for a man, be regardless of what the situation is, what the what's happened. Is your pick me? It could be exactly the same scenario, but I'm. It happens to be a man. All of a sudden, pick me. You're mislabeled at pick me same way nowadays men just sticking up for women just you know not not doing brokered and actually standing up for what's right they're simps. It's and the same thing you are a beta this gender war thing that we're having yeah right you're now. definitely a beta Especially if you men definitely do it life, which is men true. definitely do and it interestingly although pick me girls are seen as having internalized misogyny the group of women that are then calling out the pick me girls or i would say bullying the pick me girls or embarrassing the pick me girls to an extent are they not also being misogynistic so it is really and truly the hypocrisy for me i hope and i think that the pendulum is starting to swing back and people are seeing how out of hand this like man versus woman men are trash women are trash kind of thing how ridiculous and how far it's going and i think the pendulum is starting to swing back the other way like funnily enough as i was scripting this video this week I listened to like multiple podcasts and just so happened that the um different people were talking about this i think i was listening to the receipts podcast and they were talking about this whole like um they talked about pick me girls as well and how it's been mislabeled and also like men versus women and not to hate men and not to hate women blah blah blah. they talked about that and then there's another podcast i was listening to i cannot remember what it was but again they were kind of getting annoyed with how much people have been labeled pick or mislabeled pick me so hopefully labeled at all things are right like go back to you know the real, less relaxed it's never <laughs> so gonna why does it work i think my theory <laughs> always have a theory my theory is that labeling someone a pick me or even a simp or saying things like she won't sleep with you bro those are very um smart methods because what they do is that they incite embarrassment and embarrassment and shame is one of those things that will make you stop in your tracks if i'm arguing with someone on twitter which i never would but if i was and then I happen to be defending a man. And then multiple people in my reply saying, did he pick you? Have you been picked? And I'm just like, oh. You need to be. Even if I know I'm not doing it to be a pick me, I'm now embarrassed and I'm now full of shame. And it's like, the more I try to argue against it, the more I'm going to sound like, it's like when someone says, oh, you're angry. It's like, I'm not angry. And it's like, mm, you sound angry, bro. <laughs> embarrassment and shame will stop you in a track and that's why it's such an effective weapon that's why i feel like it's been weaponized have you ever been doing something slightly silly and someone says at your big age <laughs> i'm gonna exit right there so yeah i believe the pick me label has gone that's to a point now where it's been weaponized as a way of shutting down an argument that for whatever reason valid or not is defending men or men. is defending women so to address uh, the <laughs> the Reddit thread, which uh, all my friends laughed at me because I was uh, called Pick Me Shop Week. One of the comments I saw in that thread was um, somebody saying that I'd recently done a video about Kevin Samuels, right? And I had angered a lot of men, which is true. And therefore, the video I did a couple of videos after that, which was called Men Are Trash and So Are We, in which I was calling out a lot of the things that we as women, I think, do that can be a bit wrong um their theory was that i created that video to pander to the men that i had hurt in the kevin samuels video but to that i say it's very possible for me to i should go react like to her kevin, kevin video is a misogynist so? and it's also possible for me to say that women are somewhat entitled two things can be true at the same time it's funny how she just flip from flip from uh labeling to calling kevin a misogynist okay a misogynist and then what that's just a label see what i'm saying people could people are so quick to stick labels on you they don't know when they're doing it 
and justifying it real fast, but to keep talking about what they talk about. No, let's talk about the label you want to label. It's the same as Pick Me Girl. Let's do a whole 10 minute spiel about why misogynist is just a label, just like Pick Me Girl is. Let's go down that line, silly ass. But we're going to let you rock. Cook your food. I like you. Boxes. Instead of being a what? A spectrum thinker. I did a video about this. It's right here and it's also in the description. Let me know what you think because it's getting a bit ridiculous. Anyway, so nobody canceled Lizzo they don't want Lizzo canceled but that's a whole nother description I kind of want to see her Kevin video now what does she say she might have said something crazy now we got to check now we got to see now I want to see what she said now we got to check her out while we here we might as well what you say about the godfather huh what you say? Where is it at? Don't tell me. Don't. Or did you say, uh, there goes men are trash and so are we. You tried to make uh, what you say you did. Try to make up for it with men. Maybe that's it right there. I seen that. I just want to see if it's something else. Okay. That's probably it right there. So let's see. What she had to say about the late great. So I recently filmed a video about Kevin Samuels and I quickly noticed something in the comment section from his supporters, his followers. No, where's the video? We don't want to see your reaction. Did you take it down because you got cooked? They ain't cooked you like that, did they? They ain't make you take it down, did they? They didn't make you take it down, did they? Bro, I don't work their hands. That's why I went down to see if it was something else. There's a... Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, you took it down when he passed. That's respectful. That's probably what she did. Maybe not. See? Is this it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to find it. Hope you're well. Yeah. <laughs> if it's your first time watching my channel, welcome. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it's our first time. Please comment your thoughts on me. We like you though. We're going to we gonna, we gonna up to you. Wow. Why did I say like that? I don't really do reaction videos, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> I don't really do reaction videos. And I don't know if this is a reaction video. To be honest, it's kind of old news now, so it's not like a reaction video. But anyways, I am giving my thoughts on a video that maybe a few weeks ago, even a month, I don't know, kind of went viral. We've got talking, clubhouse. That's how you know this shit. Oh, the threads were written. This is a old and, video. Um, I had thoughts on it, and then I don't know why it came back into my head. But then I thought, yeah, let me like, let me just talk to you guys. About my thoughts. That's what I do on this channel. Talk to you about my thoughts. So. The video in question, it was a video by Kevin Kevin Samuels. I never. It's heard crazy how people him. relate to negativity. I, I, I want to go straight to her problem. Kevin Samuels, this woman. Well, no, I want to hear her video. thoughts I, again, first. So here are my thoughts. On the I like video. her, honestly. First, or on the, the the point that he made about average women and rich men, it's a shame. Why? This is, what, this is the point that I kind of made. Well, this is the start of the point I made on Clubhouse. It's a shame. Why? That we compare or that we equate. Uh, a woman's physical beauty to a man's wealth, yeah, because it doesn't take a genius to know that you should compare like for like, you know what I mean, when you're doing experiments, you compare this for this, you don't compare chickens and... Let me stop her right there. Remember what I said about how the market has become easy for everybody, but people don't know how to market themselves? It's not a shame. It's the mark. It's some people made it this way. It's a game. It's not a shame. Potatoes. It's just like, like, like. that's what so people do. It's not no like for like. Deserve. That's another point because ain't nobody telling you what you can deserve, but God. You can't even tell yourself what you deserve. God's not going to talk to you and tell you what you deserve. You're going to make up your mind of what you think you deserve and then say God gave you that thought 
Stop trying to tell me God is bringing you somebody so you can fornicate. Don't get me started. Just please don't get me started. Don't don't tell me about the word deserve. See, this is what I'm saying. This is she's going into that fantasy land. Anyways, she's going. She earns six figures, right? Therefore, so she, and she wants some of that earned six figures. Who cares? Simple yes. Simple math, huh? Earned six figures. Simple math. And you want some of that earned six figures. That is what you deserve it. Yes, you do deserve it, right? However, no, not right. It's oh, I, I'm not about to waste well, my time. No, if we're speaking, if I'm speaking as a realist, I do understand Please. that the world that we live in, the society that we live in, does equate beauty of a woman and wealth of a man. You see all the time, you see, um, women in the spotlight. No, duh, um, you have whole segments of shows to dissect what Kate Middleton was wearing, what Meghan Markle was wearing. But never the same energy for Prince Harry and Prince William. Like you see all the time. So I understand why he was saying rich men don't want average women. Right? They don't I get it because Duh. Looks, well, blah, blah, blah. that's why a lot of the time you might see um, what you might view as an attractive woman. No, woman what you might man, view as an attractive but how woman. How often have you seen the opposite? I would. And then with that in mind, it's just simple. I always think of it like economic supply and demand, right? You, the man, the rich man, are the supply. You're in short supply because you're in the top 10th percentile of the country, right? So you're in short supply, but the demand for rich men is this big. And so what happens in economics is when the supply is this big, but the demand is this big, when demand outweighs supply, what has to happen is the price has to go up. Do you get it? So this is... Yeah, I'm making it complicated, but the price has to go up. No, you're not making <laughs> so it complicated. You're actually making it simple. Thanks for breaking it down this way. For the people who, for whatever reason, may have not already gotten it after hearing it a hundred times. Your standards, your requirements might go up now. Because now, rather than when you were broke and you had five women to choose from, now you're rich. You might have a hundred women to choose from. And so your criteria stricken, strict, strict. Make sense? So in that sense, yes, what he there was a bit of truth in what Mr. Kevin was saying. Was the lie then? These men in the top ten percentile maybe will not um, tolerate all of the things that he listed out, and it's a hard truth. So what's maybe, the problem? Maybe. What's the problem with the hard paper, truth? What he's saying makes sense. The delivery was off. <laughs> so but maybe what he's saying makes sense. It was the truth. When put How do you that. deliver the so truth? where my problem comes into it, right? Where's your problem? Um, Talk to me. First of all, I don't think she should have gone to him because his delivery was awful. I don't, think, I don't, I don't know where anyone would go to him for advice. Yo, because he's um, the truth. He was the truth. He was. Is See, people want this delivery. Let me talk to y'all about delivery. Y'all think men are liars. So why do y'all focus on delivery when y'all think men are liars? You don't want to hear the truth. So stop talking about delivery. The people who have the good delivery are liars. You hated Kevin Samuels and you loved Derek Jackson and Derek got caught cheating on his wife. He's a liar. That's why you like his delivery. Man, stop, man, do not make me go. And maybe, maybe it's the majority of men's opinions on the situation. No, it's the majority um, of life. Put that on her as fact. And she may now take that away. It may like throw her off course from finding a six of the man that she wants, right? That's my first thought. Secondly, um, labeling herself a five. Um, Don't do it. Maybe you're about to make me fast told, forward. The whole world, and they put it to a vote. Maybe she would still come out a five or a six. Shut like, up. Maybe. It doesn't even I matter. I can't speak for everyone. Right? Who cares? So maybe um, to a lot of people, she's average. But Bruh. she's not average to everyone. She can't be. Bruh. She can't be. Statistically speaking, she can't be average. Bro, why why is this why does this matter? matter? Why are you what are you saying? Statistically speaking, nine. shut up. Be quiet. Just please. Sure Respectfully just 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 stop. Six. They probably thought she was more. Does she look better and than you? I think the Does she look better than you? Judging her by a world. Do she look better than you? Um a current or modern a social media esque type of um do she Rick. look better than you? I'm judging her off you. And my main point, which we finally come to, do she look better than you? Media and its standards will have you all the way messed up. Even me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since we but talking about me, you, go um, back to old girl and you. Even you. 
comfortable for the way I look type thing for the most part um social media can have you really messed up like social media really make you think that actually fun fact I was on clubhouse and um because on clubhouse if you follow me on clubhouse all you see is the thumbnails right and I just I remember just scrolling through it thinking wow these guys are beautiful and I've noticed that like, they're all like really um well like groomed really nice makeup I think maybe 99.9% had weaves and I just thought wow like I like this look. Maybe I should like adopt this look. And no, I don't know. Like it's had me feeling the maybe way you that should have felt before, and I had to check myself real quick. Yeah, thank um, you, because I would have. But just just to say, like, there's a, definitely a standard on social media, and what that standard does is it really makes you think that if you are any in any way outside of that cookie cut box, if you're not a bad B, if you don't have the body of a bad B, if you um, yeah, if you just don't have a certain look, I'm sure you know. You pick me, about. and we hate the look. Thank you for saying this. We, since y'all don't do it for us, do not like the look. We tolerate it because we just, we hate the look. We don't like the upside down lashes on the forehead. That's the baby hair looking thing. We don't like the, inst we hate the lash. We don't like it. Y'all just don't care. Y'all say we don't do it for, we like the next, this, never mind. She know, she already know. That's in why reality, she checked herself. All you have to do is put your phone down and look around to know that to see that that's not true. Um, it plays itself into all aspects of what social media consider attractive, right? Um, even when it comes to men, when you when you hear all the jokes and the banter that run for short men, right? Um, which is weird. On the street. Which is weird. <laughs> which is weird. And I challenge anybody, please, everybody, anybody, please play my game. It's called men are not six feet. This is what you do. You go with your home girls. Get you, get you go. You're gonna have to get something not super strong. You know, get you get your home girls, get you some wine or whatever, and go out when you're on a trip. Since everybody goes on a trip, go to Vegas, go to Fremont Street. And what you do is every time you see a couple, a man and a woman, or it could be a woman and a woman, whoever, whoever. But it's got to be a man involved in the couple. It could be two guys. That would be even better for this for this game. And every time you see a couple and the guy is not six foot tall, you have to take a shot. So you understand how much, when you get alcohol poisoning, you're going to really understand the percentages of tall people. So these short guy jokes are absolutely ridiculous like it's funny and you will be drunk if you play my game so you might as well get something light get something cheap and light little the cheap wine get you some 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 boons farm type of stuff some you some 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 a beer because you're gonna take a trillion shots because men are six feet tall i'm six foot i'm six one so i'm not defending short guys but i'm defending reality and you're gonna be drunk as hell I'm telling you go play the game Go anywhere where it's a lot of people and go play that game. I'm telling you. Short men are getting love. Ask a short man. He probably feels he gets love. He's found someone. He's, he finds people all the time. Go like, play the game. Um, same hey, with if you, women, you don't believe me, women, like you, you don't believe her, media, have you go play my game. If you don't have a tiny waist and a big bum and your belly doesn't jiggle, then you ain't getting no love. And boys make fun of fat girls all the time. But these big girls are getting love. They're getting love. Like there's people out there who there's probably a lot more people than you even realize that actually think they're really beautiful and why not man um, don't i'm saying? not even gonna touch that i'm not this even gonna whole, speak on that like, I got into her idea of love is really just but like it's not booty call and, like, and that subject we ain't gonna go there because whether or not y'all already know it's very irrelevant because there are people out there that think she's attractive and some of those people might earn six figures she's babbling and of course the poor she's just trying to cause less people earn six figures but there could be someone out there. Um, and also, if anything, I think the, the the smartest point he made was the fact that she doesn't know anyone. <laughs> she doesn't know anyone that has six things. That's the problem. <laughs> I know why she got backlash for this video, but she shouldn't have. People should have been nice to her because she was really admitting that he was right the whole time. Once she went to the whole delivery part, I dismissed her. For dinner to 
feet. And I like her. Maybe it's just I, I seen another video so first and got to go back. Like, so they I didn't. Rich man and I can't find one because they I don't probably know just seen this. I'm like, yo, you're that's delusional as hell. Which yeah, yeah. she was being that. Money resides, but, but the money resides. But the money resides. You need to go there. But come on, um, sis. Oh. You're smart. Create social media ads with It's Fiverr. a reason why I pulled up on you. Manager. You knew better the MZ, whole entire time. You were saying he was right. But you just trying to stay on code. Um, it's not working, though. I feel like that was the most, that's the, that's the most important one. And we need to really let go of this idea that that standard of beauty is the only standard of beauty. Unfortunately, a lot of people fall. Which I, I, and I agree. I did a, I did a, whole, I did a video about the, 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 that rating chart. But so I have my own views about that, but but what she's talking about, um, she capped it. And it, uh, just just let it go. It frustrates me so much, right? Okay, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a video about this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video about social media. Another one. Um, I, I want to really see that. I hate social, social media. media. Right now, and yeah. You y'all listen, man. Y'all heard me. This is why I like her. I like her. I like her. I do. She's talking crazy um, right now. Well, she's not even really talking crazy. She's just trying to defend the undefendable. This is what she's doing. She's trying to defend something that can't be defended. Anyway, in conclusion, one social media standard of beauty. One this man standard of beauty. Figure out what your priorities are. Figure out your priorities. Is that lady cute compared to you? I believe that your answer is no. And so, therefore, you know Kevin's right. You're just saying don't listen to him because whatever. You can find someone. Which, whatever. Let me know what you think down below. I do feel like a lot of people are um, purposely missing the obvious points um, and maybe trying to be a bit correct about it. Um, I think we all understood where he was coming from and why he was saying what he was saying and why he felt like he had the audacity to say what he was saying because he was telling of, the truth. That kind of looks like it. Anyways, I've ended the video. Let me look, let me look. Go down a rabbit hole again. But let me You look. went down a rabbit hole already, sis, but it's okay. We like you. So we're going to sub to you. I rock with you, but you're still talking crazy, but I, I support your channel. So, in closing, ladies and gentlemen, ain't nobody chasing you. They're just trying to be left alone. They're just trying to be left alone. The chase is the, is to not be bothered. That's the chase. The chase is to not be bothered. Real talk. So that's the show, man.